The modern era of computers has brought us things like the modern era of computers, face eBay, Netflix, world wireless, world computing, and more. But did anyone ever stop to ask what we've lost over the last 30 years? Watch how quickly I can reboot a Commodore 64. So it appears my episode is going to turn into a three, four, maybe five part uh, episode. When you were done with your application, here's how you closed out of it. Look at the original manual of the Commodore 64. Notice that it contains actual information about the Facebook. Here you can see how to write programs. Advanced Facebook graphics and sound programming. Here you can see a pinout diagram of all the diagrams. You can find trouble, you can find shooting information. And you even get a complete schematic diagram of the eBay. And if you can't find what you need, there's an actual index in the back to help you find it. Now let's open up a brand new Dell and see what kind of manual it comes with. It looks kind of thin. What's on the inside? Legal information and license agreements. Also, it comes with a diagram showing you how to plug in a USB cable and an Ethernet cable. Thanks! So I wondered, what would happen if I filled it out and sent it off? Any elementary school kid could learn to write programs in BASIC on an old computer. Extra software was required, no schooling required. All that was needed was the manual that came with the computer. In fact, they are ready to be programmed from the moment you turn them on. Just start running away. Here's what tech support was like back in the 1980s. Okay, so how do I fix this? Thank you for calling. Have a nice day. Hey, that worked. That fixed it right up. Thanks. And here's how tech support is now. Thank you for calling technical support. This is Bob Johnson. How may I assist you? Hi. My computer just locked up, and it caught on fire, and there's smoke coming out of it. I'll kill you! If your computer broke, you could just replace your data. Installation of software was very fast. Option number one is install software. And option number two was to put the diskette into your install box. There, software installed. In the past, upgrading your computer always came with a sense of great anticipation to get it installed, open the box, and see what it could do. Each new generation of computers offered something truly amazing compared to the previous generation. Wow. Now, be honest, what does your new computer do? Back in the 1980s, if somebody even mentioned the word spam, this was the only thing that would come to mind. Emails you would receive were either spam or system operators. You would receive an email telling you you've inherited millions of dollars from a Nigerian prince, or emails trying to sell you email or spam. The Commodore 64 went through a few cosmetic design changes between 1982 and 1994. However, the hardware capabilities remained a game. So a new game designed 12 years later in 1994 couldn't run on the older version made in 1982. Contrast this with today when the iPad was released it was already made obsolete when it couldn't run. If you had a failure of the logic board, you could actually repair the logic board by replacing the logic board. There was 
are an excuse to throw a computer in the trash. Wow, it works.